need to have some really radical changes to food and farming throughout Europe. The problems are, are many and, and, and very varied, ranging from uh, environmental contamination, loss of biodiversity, loss of fertile soils, polluted water, and um, animals kept in very um, poor conditions. The European Union is currently reviewing the Common Agricultural Policy, or CAP. The IFOM EU Group, the European umbrella organization of organic agriculture movements, is calling for sustainability and organic farming to be placed at the heart of the reformed CAP. The CAP is important because um, it has a big potential to do good, a lot of good things, but currently it is doing a lot of bad things and it's using a lot of money to do it. If we could take that budget and move it to do really good practices, that would have a very big impact on our environment, on, the, <coughs> on farmers in the first place, of course, uh, and on their livelihoods in the rural areas. With millions of hectares of European farmland now affected by soil degradation, one of the most pressing issues the reform has to address is how to maintain soil fertility. I'm coming from the Netherlands. We see, for example, in our arable regions that the, by using heavy machinery and using a lot of pesticides, the quality of the soil, but also the structure of the soil, including microorganisms, are, are dying. And also conventional farmers more and more realize that there must be a change. Personally, I think soil erosion is, for certain countries of the South Europe, the, the main issue to, to deal with because we are losing basically the basis of the, of the food system that is the soil. The CAP must also support sustainable animal husbandry practices that provide healthy environments for livestock and put the welfare of the animals first. I think that another problem, especially in the intensive livestock production areas, the Netherlands, Belgium, Denmark, French Brittany, Northern Italy, where we have many times all kinds of diseases, and sometimes even diseases who are immediately are touching consumers' help. Organic farming offers solutions to these challenges and it also offers opportunities for farmers as well as other rural inhabitants. In organic agriculture many people will find and they are already finding their job so uh, not only in the primary production but also in marketing and uh, we hope that further development of organic uh, agriculture which uh, needs a lot of uh, men job uh, will create new working places for the future so what is already happening so it will be a chance for sp small and middle farmers to stay in a business uh, i have uh, 70 dairy cows at home and uh, we also have different crops and we produce rapeseed oil uh, we decided to be organic because that was the way we wanted to um, work with the crops and animal. It feels more right for us and uh, we didn't uh, have to handle with the chemicals and that sorts of things. And what does the IFOM EU group want from this CAP reform? Organic agriculture needs to be included in a way that is mandatory in rural development programmes with a higher co-financing rate to ensure that member states do introduce organic um, farming measures under the Rural Development Programme and also they need to explore the synergy with organic farming and other uh, rural development measures to ensure that the best use is made of the organic farming opportunity. Organic agriculture can play a central role in the reform of the common agricultural policy because organic farming can deliver the sorts of food and farming systems that society expects, providing a clean environment, high biodiversity, good water, fertile soils and high animal welfare.